All right, so this in this video, we're going to solve a couple of questions related to loci and uh, triangle construction. Okay, so right here, I have a question that came in the May, June 2020, paper one, variant two, and this is question number 12. So let's, let's get straight to it. It says use a straight edge and compass only in this question. Okay, so the first part says construct the locus of points inside the triangle ABC that are five centimeters from B. So B right here is a fixed point. So, so that means I have to make a circle. Well, I don't necessarily have to make an entire circle. I can just do away with an arc because I'm only interested in the region that is inside the triangle ABC. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta make sure that your compass is of uh, five centimeter. So here you go, this is five centimeter, gotta be as accurate as possible. Okay, and then you're gonna keep the pointed side of your compass at B and you're gonna make an arc, okay? You gotta make sure that your arc is big enough so that it cuts the entire triangle, okay? So that's the first part. Then it says equidistant from A and C. Okay, being equidistant from two fixed point means that we gotta draw a perpendicular bisector, all right? So how do you draw a perpendicular bisector in case you're not aware? So you can watch a full video or you can learn as you go right here. So you gotta make sure that your compass is, is more than half the length of the line of which the perpendicular bisector you're drawing, which is AC. So here I can see that the length of, the, that the uh, size of the compass is more than half, okay? So I'm gonna make an arc here on the right hand side and then I'm gonna make another arc on the left hand side. And throughout the process, make sure that you don't end up changing the size of the compass, okay? Now you gotta repeat this by keeping the pointed side at C Okay, so there you go, and there you go. Okay, so now that we have the arc sorted out, here's one pair of arcs intersecting and here's the other. So I'm gonna join these two, and I'm gonna make a straight line, and I gotta make sure that the line passes through the triangle, okay? So there you go. So that's part two done. Okay, now we have to shade. This is the most important part. So we have to shade in such a way that uh, it should be less than five centimeters from C, okay? That means I gotta shade inside the arc, okay? So this, all the points on this arc are exactly five centimeters. If it were beyond this arc, uh, they would be more than five. If it were before the arc, they will be less than five. So that means I'm gonna shade somewhere here, but I'll do that shortly. But first I gotta decide what to do with this perpendicular bisector. Closer to A than to C. That means it has to be below the perpendicular bisector because that's where A is at. If I shade it above the perpendicular bisector, then it will be closer to A. Below, uh, closer to C, sorry. Below will be closer to A. So this is the region that I will shade. And this is the region that satisfies these two properties. A, that it is less than five centimeters and B, that it is closer to A than to C. Make sure that your shading is nice and clear. So there you go. Okay, let's do another question. And in this question, we have a line AB, which is already drawn for us. And this says that, uh, let's see, C is the point above AB, so that means it's gotta be here somewhere, where AC equals to five centimeter and BC equals to seven centimeters. Okay, so I gotta make sure that my compass is of five centimeters width, or whatever you wanna call it, size, doesn't matter. Okay, so here's five centimeters. So AC five centimeter means that this is gotta be somewhere here. Okay, there you go. And BC seven centimeters. So that means from point B, C is seven centimeters away. Since we don't have any angles, we'll have to complete this triangle with the help of arcs. So this compass is now of seven centimeters. I'm gonna place it at B and make an arc. And there you go, the point where these two arcs intersect is point C. So I'm gonna join this with B first, and then I'm gonna join this with A. Okay, so that's part A done, two marks complete. By the way, this is October, November 2019, paper one, variant two. Okay, part B says, D is the point below AB, where BAD is 28 degrees and ABD is 96 degrees. Okay, so BAD, so that means I gotta measure this and I gotta make sure that this is 28 degrees. So for that, obviously I will need a, a pair of, uh, actually a protractor. Okay, now 
you got to make sure that this angle is 28 degrees. Now, since I'm starting from, since the line that I'm measuring from is on the left, that means I'll start from the zero that's on the left. So here's 20, here's 25, here's 30. So just two points before 30 will be 28. Now, since I don't have the length, so that means I'm going to make a line of uh, enough length. Okay, I'm just going to extend it. And I don't know what how long this line is going to be, so I'm just going to leave it here. And I'll figure that out once I have the other angle, which is ABD. So ABD, as you can see, is 90 degrees. Let me show it to you. ABD is 96 degrees. So that means ABD is 96. So I can do it. I can measure it like this also. Okay. So here's 0. Here's 90. Okay. And uh, here's 100. So 96 is going to be four points before 100. So there you go. Now I should have extended the other line a bit more for obvious reasons. So it doesn't matter. I can do it right now. And there you go. This point right here is point D. So this was a fairly simple question. This had not, uh, we had no uh, perpendicular bisector or angle bisector to be draw to be drawn here. So that's, that's about it for this question. Let's do another question. And this is May, June 2020, paper one, variant two, actually the same paper as the previous one, but this is question number nine. Yeah. So let's have a look at the question. It says the scale drawing shows positions of town A and B. Find the actual distance in kilometers of town in uh, from A to B. Okay. So I got to measure the distance of A, B. So that according to my scale is 8.5. Yeah, 8.5. So the scale here is one centimeter to 10 kilometers. So that means anything that's one centimeter on this paper is 10 kilometers in actual. So 8.5 will be equal to X. Cross multiply, you will get 8.5 times 10, which is gonna give you 85 kilometers. Okay, then it says down C is on a bearing of 140 degrees from A. Hope it's clear in the video and on a bearing of 235 degrees from B. Okay, so now when measuring bearing, you gotta remember that we always start from the north, which we have here, and we always measure in a clockwise direction. Okay, so I can very simply measure 140 degrees. There's nothing complicated about that. So in a clockwise direction means this way. So I'm gonna measure 140 degrees from here. And let's see, 140 degrees on a bearing, so that's got to be here somewhere. So I'm going to extend this line. There you go. So the town that the question is talking about here, which is C, is got to be somewhere on this line. Okay. Now, then it says on a bearing of 235 degrees from town B. Okay. So this is where you got to pay attention. So this right here is B, 235. It's got to be somewhere here. Okay. Now I can't measure anything that's more than 180 degrees using my protractor, okay? Because it only goes till 180, not more than that. However, if I can work out this angle, I can I can measure this in, a, in an anti-clockwise direction. So the full circle is going to be 360. From it, let's subtract 235. So let's see, this is going to be five. 10 minus five is five, five minus three is two, and then 125. So that means instead of measuring 235 degrees in a clockwise direction, I can instead measure 125 in an anti-clockwise direction. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So there you go. I'm gonna measure 125. So here's 100, here's 110, here's 120, and here's 125. So there you go. This right here, this point right here, is where down C is located. So I'm just gonna mark it C. And that is the end of the question. And also the end of the video. Now those of you who have an exam tomorrow, I wanna to wish you guys the best of luck. I hope all the videos that I made so far were helpful. And uh, that's, that's about it. Good luck. Make your respective teachers proud, inshallah. Allah Hafiz. Take care.